in my last video i did show you um how to get um your notification via email by going to settings and then i set the email services by using the custom email services to gmail now in this video i'm going to show you something more uh on automation uh, uh under the 48 now if you if you um if you want to get some notification from your firewall when somebody logged in when somebody is attempting to log into your firewall and so many things like that you could actually use automation to actually get that done easily now to do this i'm going to click on automation now you have so many automations by default you have the automation for um compromise host you have the automation for network down ha failover and so on like that you have the network not as an automation for license fail and things like that no, in this case here i'm just going to create an automation for um login fail login successful ch uh, configuration change i'm going to create those th three things already i do have a login successful which i've used in my previous video and basically all i just did was to use uh, for the os events and i choose email put in the email i want the subjects and then the email body in this case here i'm going to do something different i'm going to create it from scratch i'm going to call this login field i could call it firewall login field Now I'm going to choose event log as well for this as a trigger. Now had the event basically is an event because when a login fail is basically an event. So I have a login fail. I'm going to choose this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the action. What do I want? I want it to shoot out an email. So I'm going to click on email. Now put the email here. And then put the message body so this is going to be that's my subject click on ok now the last one i'm going to create is going to be configuration change so to do that click on new uh, it's just going to be an event so i'm um, sorry i'm going to create a new i'm going to say configuration change i could call it firewall configuration change so in this case the trigger is going to be configuration change click on configuration change i also want to shoot out an email we're going to use other things in the future video but in this time i'm going to shoot out an email the email is also going to go straight to this same email that i'm using and then my symbol is going to be and then click on okay that's your subject body and I'll click okay so what this does is that when any of these events happen whether there's a login successful or a login failed or a configuration change is notified is not as is observed you will get an email from your firewall so I'm going to do that uh, let me remove this email so let's start with login fail logout type in the email Type in the password and then click login and then you see login failure and then you see there's an email email it says firewall configuration was changed and then in this case here i have uh oh no that's not the right one give me a moment oh there we go there we go <laughs> the other one for some reason shoot out um i don't know why that came but i'll probably will check that again now this is what i was looking for firewall login attempt failed now oh yeah this um notification is actually valid because i just made some changes to the firewall basically but let's still see i'm going to try and log in again with the wrong pass wrong account and then click on login again and then that should give me another new email yep see basically i have a login fail so that's exactly what i was expecting now 
um, the configuration changed. Basically, I did uh, make changes to the firewall. That was why that email came out. It caught, basically caught me all off guard. Basically, that tells me that configuration change is working. So I'm just going to make a quick change to my firewall here, go to my interfaces, and then um, I could say on this interface here, um, I do not want this HTTP, click on OK, that's a change. And then once that happens, you'll see, uh, oh, I got a login successful notification. That's good um, because that's one of the things we also created. Now, the next thing I want to check is if we get this configuration change. Um, let me see if we could just make a, a good change. Uh, in this case here, I'm going to say, Click on OK and then uh, go back to my file as my Gmail. Uh, what you should get is you should get an email uh, notifying you of the change in configuration. I'm still waiting for the email to come in. Um, for some reason, it hasn't come in yet. But basically, I can tell you that the changes is there. Um, let me check this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, for some reason it, it didn't come in on time. I don't know why, but basically here is the changes. Now, configuration change, it tells me what time that happened. Uh, it tells me um, what was changed. Um, not really basically, but it, it will give you um, the event log ID. This event log ID can then be used to basically find the events based on the log id um we have a system event i believe you could find it based on the log id and then um this is the login description let me see if we can uh add a log id here this is the log id apply and then um let's um add a log id put the log id there and then apply that that tells you what was changed and then you could see all the changes that has been made the time it was made you could um, view uh, more details about the changes that was made basically that is um, that about um, creating an automation and then send firing an email using your automation uh, please like this video share this video and subscribe um, I will be creating more automation video uh, very soon and um, we'll be looking at other options on all on, on automation. We'll be looking at how to use webhook. We'll be looking at how to uh, get the notification when your firewall restarts. We'll be looking at how to get a notification when your resources of your firewall is low, like the memory is low and things like that in future videos. Uh, thank you so much again for viewing this video and for liking and commenting uh, and then uh, for reaching out for most people who have actually reached out to me in, in the comment section who have asked questions who have been helped thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it. please share my videos please like this video this channel is growing very fast and this couldn't have been done without your help thank you so much have a wonderful day